So I've had a lot of people smell fragrances in my collection, but there's been a few times where people have smelled a fragrance they really loved and immediately bought it on the spot. So I'm gonna share with you what those scents are. And the people that did all that were not fragrance connoisseurs. These are your average people that you're gonna be running into on a daily basis, okay? So we're gonna start with Side Effect by Anisio. Now this is not my favorite fragrance. I get why people think it's sexy. You know, it's a rum cinnamon scent, but to me, it's a bit too intense for my liking. However, I cannot deny the sex appeal that Side Effect has on so many people. It's a unisex fragrance, so anybody can pull it off. But I remember this guy comes in, he's like, oh, what's that purple bottle up there, right? Because I had this one right up top. And I hand it to him, he opens it. He's like, oh, I love this. Without even spraying it yet, he's like, I love this. And he goes for his phone and he was like, where can I buy it? And immediately bought it online. Three days later, it was at his doorstep and it's been like his signature fragrance. So this is just kind of that scent that people really, really love. Like, let me tell you, you wear this at bars, you wear this at clubs. If you still want that unique scent that people are just gonna be yearning for all night, then it's gonna be side effect, okay? Now, there are gonna be people like me that aren't the biggest fan of the scent, but even I can't lie, y'all. When I have worn this in public, people just go nuts over it. I wish I really loved this scent as much as other people do, but I, I don't. However, I just I, you cannot deny that this is just a beast in terms of performance and in terms of compliment factor. It's just a very, very attractive fragrance for people that kind of want their sexy, mysterious scent that they can whip out when they're feeling a little bit dangerous, you know? So I'll put a discount link for all the fragrances I'm gonna mention and discount codes in the description box and comment section below. And that is an affiliate link, so I do get something on the back end if you make a purchase using one of those two. But of course, buy where you're comfortable. If you do purchase there, I appreciate the love and support for the channel. But this, I mean, side effect, <laughs> side effect is an absolute banger. The second one, is called i'm gonna close this <laughs> that's not what the fragrance is called but this is called ominous om by mfk now i'm not sure if y'all remember the video i made about this fragrance gosh it's been months i said something the video title is something like this out of all the fragrances that no no how does it go it was like this is the one like out of all the fragrances she smelled this is the one that she got for her boyfriend it was something like that right so i remember i had my i had my cousins here and my cousin's boyfriend was like melissa because my family calls me melissa they're like i'm looking for a new scent something that your ate is gonna like ate you know ate means you know like older sister or older you know it doesn't have to be like a sister but she's like my cousin right so i was like i got you let's go smell some things so he's smelling things and she was very picky I showed her designer things first, of course, because designer is usually what people gravitate to. I was showing her like Prada Lom, and he wore Le Nuit de Lom, um, but he really hated the performance of it, right? And then he was, his signature scent was Dior Sauvage. And he's just like, she's smelling stuff. She's like, no, too strong, too weak, too basic. I don't like it, blah, blah, blah. And everything was negative, even on the niche side as well. I remember showing her side effect and I could just immediately tell off the bat, she did not like sweet fragrances. She wanted something fresh that would last, right? So I'm like, you know what? Try this fragrance, MFK's Amoris Om. And he smells it and he likes it. He's like, oh yeah, this is nice. And I said, dude, you gotta spray it on yourself. Let's see what she thinks about it. And then she smells it and she's like, okay, yeah, I like that one. And by the way, I showed her silver mountain water before this one and she just everything was a no you know what I mean it was just like nope no nope. she was like raining on everything raining down like all of just like that real shit you know she was just like nope I don't like it but with this scent she's like I like that you should buy that immediately you know and he was like okay and by the way I remember when I made that video people were saying well she shouldn't be that controlling they were like getting mad and stuff but the thing is, when you're in a relationship, there are going to be scents that you wear for your partner. And that's okay sometimes. Yes, you wear things that you like, but all the people that were saying that were like, you know, single people not in relationships. If you're in one, you understand that there are going to be scents that you like on your partner that sometimes they'll wear for you when it's like a day like your birthday or Valentine's Day. And that's totally okay, all right? But Amadis Om is just a fantastic 
daily wear scent. Now this had so much hate in the niche fragrance community. It was crazy. And I understand it because it's likable. You know, when something is likable and it's not daring, people categorize it as a designer fragrance, even though it's a niche scent. They're like, oh, it's a designer scent. It's not worth it. And whether it's worth it is totally up to you, okay? If you are looking for a fragrance that you're just gonna keep on your shelf and not wear, but the bottle is cool, and when people come in, they're like, that's a cool bottle. Or if you're looking for a scent that you can daily wear any situation, any time, that you're gonna love and people around you are gonna love, you know? So whether it's worth it or not is totally up to you, but to him and to her, this was absolutely worth it. Amidus Om is just a scent that I can literally recommend to anybody and it's fine and yes I know that it doesn't have a personality right when you smell this scent you're not thinking oh this smells like a, a professional fragrance or this smells mysterious or this smells rich it just smells good and I that's the simplicity of the scent and some people find the simplicity to be a bad thing whereas others find it just to be something that is just totally wearable all the time you know and for them it did just that so Omnis Om to me is still something that I would highly recommend if you're looking to get into niche fragrances and you're just moving from designer, but you want something that you know you're actually gonna throw on and wear. You're not gonna get a niche fragrance that you're like, holy shit, that's way too polarizing. You know, this is a great entry level scent right here, um, but it is the price point up to you of whether or not it's too expensive, okay? But Amaris Om is a nice compliment getter and it is something that people just love now even though this is marketed as more of a masculine fragrance i do find it to kind of be a bit on the unisex side because it smells kind of laundry clean to be honest with you you know if you're a fan of things like well i was gonna say i'm gonna own like lazy sunday morning maybe even prod alone that's your vibe like laundry clean you're gonna like you're I was not prod alone you're gonna like i'm gonna own. And lastly, is Blue Agave by Precious Liquid. Now, if you are a real one on my channel, you might be thinking, why does that bottle look full? It was pretty, it was decently used, not too much the last time that you saw it. Well, that's because I had somebody come in and him and his girlfriend were smelling fragrances in my collection before he came up. He was like, I'm looking for a new signature scent because I put them onto YSL's Y. Again, a designer fragrance. He was like maybe 19 at the time. Now he's like 21 or something. And he said, yeah, like I like it, but I want something that's that not a lot of people have. He said, I bought my brother Blue de Chanel and he's like, I was disappointed with how basic that it smelled, you know? So for him, he was noticing and catching on that, okay, a lot of dudes are wearing fragrances like this. I want something different. And I said, okay, you want something sweet? You want something fresh? He's like, give me something fresh, right? So... This is the very first scent, well, the other bottle, was the very first scent that I gave to him. And he smells it like this. He's like, oh, that's nice. And then I said, spray it on yourself. So he sprayed it on himself, right? He's like, oh, I love this. And then his girlfriend smells it. And she's like, oh yeah, that's really, really nice. And he was like, how much? I was like, what? And he literally whips out a wad of cash and is like, can I buy that bottle from you right now? And like, I was like, you know what? Sure, so he just like throws me, you know, he throws me a certain amount and I was like, all right, enjoy your fragrance. I'm like, by the way, I don't have like a box for it. He's like, don't even worry about that. Like, and it was probably used maybe like up to here or something like that. So he walked away that night with my bottle of blue agave and I was like, damn, I need another one because I, I used the bottles in my videos, you know? So I wanted to make sure I had something for people that wanted to see what the bottle would look like but he immediately bought that and he has been rocking that as a signature scent and he loves it, you know? In terms of kind of what I said with, you know, Amris Om, whenever people think about niche fragrances, you have to remember that people don't know niche scents. Even with something as popular as MFK, there's still a great population of people that have no idea what Maison Francis Kirkjohn is. They probably have heard of Dior Sauvage, but they don't know MFK fragrances. And that is a majority of people out there. Now with Blue Agave by Precious Liquid, this is really an underground brand that people do not know about because they don't see it at their local Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, Neiman Marcus, Goldman Sachs. You know, it's very hidden. So this is like a niche, niche fragrance, 
but the smell of it is mass appealing. So this, all three fragrances that I've just mentioned, pass the test of doing well in public settings and when you're actually around people that are not into fragrances, you know? So all three of them, absolute bangers. I do have a new bottle of Blue Agave now. Hopefully I didn't get too much. Well, there's a lot of fingerprints on it already. But anyways, it's all good. Let me know if that's ever happened to any of you before, by the way. I'm sure a lot of you probably have collections a lot bigger than mine and you've had people smell things. Was there something that somebody immediately just bought off your collection or went online to buy? Because that's exactly what happened over here. But anyways, again, discount codes, discount links in the description and the comment section below. If you want to support the channel, I appreciate that. Of course, buy where you're comfortable and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.